Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's tutorial, we will see a brief introduction to Ambari tool. Ambari is a tool which is used to do the administrative activities related to the Hadoop. So we can manage or we can configure the Hadoop related configuration. So what is Ambari? Ambari is a a web-based tool so that means we can access the Ambari application in the web browser it is mainly used for the provisioning managing and monitoring Apache Hadoop clusters so we know that Apache Hadoop it is not a single application there are multiple nodes with multiple application with multiple purposes the cluster is created and in order to manage this cluster the Ambari tool or Ambari web application is used. Ambari supports Hadoop HDFS that is Hadoop file system, Hadoop MapReduce, Hive, HCatalog, HBase, Zookeeper, Uzi, Hig, Scoop services. Along with that it also supports the, um, the other components also such as Hive. Ambari features it is platform independent and as we know it is a web application so we can run this application in the Mac environment or in the Windows environment there is no platform dependency on that pluggable components so suppose what are the currently developed application or currently developed Ambari application is there we can customize that also we can add the different components we can develop those components and we can add those components or we can add the extra new functionality to the ambari as a view version management and upgrade so ambari tool itself maintain the version management so no need to use the external tools to maintain the versions so if if your application is going to upgrade or ambari is going to upgrade it is very convenient to upgrade or it is very easy to upgrade the ambari application extensibility it is as like the pluggability component extensibility we can extend the functionality of the existing ambari application by adding the different view components we can deploy the various component also various application in the ambari tool also failure recovery yes there is a failure recovery functionality available in the ambari which will help us to recover to its original point so it's, for example if you work in the real time application you might have the disaster recovery uh, scenarios or disaster recovery process in your current project. Similarly, if something goes wrong, we have to go back at particular point or we have to go, go back to the some uh, a data point or some, uh, some, uh, some particular business scenario situation. So we can go there and we can reach the till that point once if you come across the failure, uh, failure issue. Security, yes, the Ambari application has very robust security and it can be synced with the LDAP or the Active Directory. So these are the various features about the Ambari application, which will be, which is a major component or major application, which is used to manage and monitor the Hadoop cluster. <clears throat> Let's, uh, have a look on the some of the terminologies which we are going to use in my our upcoming tutorials the first terminology is nothing but service services in the Hadoop stack examples are HDFS HBase fix so these components are act as a service service nothing but which something start serves the process and get destroyed so these are the features or those are the components comes with the service so in case of the ambari whenever we say service it is not a component which provides some services such as hdfs hbase pig etc then we have the components each service has components for example hdfs has three components name node secondary name node and data node node or the host so node or host are the actual server points or server nodes node refers to machine in the cluster so Hadoop itself is a big cluster and in that cluster we have the various nodes or various machines and each machine is 
treated as a node in the Ambari terminology. Node components and instance of a component on a particular node. So whenever we are going to use that node, it will create an instance and such instance is called as a node component. <coughs> this is the Ambari architecture. In today's session, we are not going to show in detail about the Ambari architecture or the Ambari components. We will just have the overview of that. So Ambari architecture has the various components such as if you see this, it has the Ambari server and it has the Ambari agents. Ambari server consists of master service, then APIs and agent interface. By using the agent interface, agent, Ambari agents communicate with the Ambari server. Ambari server also maintains its own database for the metadata. So, and so Ambari has the two component, Ambari server and Ambari agents. Ambari agents communicate to the Ambari server through the agent interface or the Ambari agent interface by sending the heartbeats and by receiving the heartbeats. If you are going to extend the functionality of the Ambari, we have the APIs also which are exposed to the outside world. They can use and extend the Ambari functionality. So let's have the quick overview on the Ambari server. So Ambari server interact the various components such as heartbeat handler, FSM, action manager, coordinator, stage planner, dependency tracker, manifest generator. It also has its own database to maintain the metadata and the actual server. So, so there are two layers. One is the operating system layer where the operating system like the suppose Unix box where the we have to maintain or we have to manage the installation and the uh, managing the process of the uh, underlying platform components on top of that we have the Hadoop components or the Hadoop servers so we have to maintain that also so so those the Hadoop environment servers those are nothing but the, the which are managed by the Ambari and Ambari has its own server so those server communicate with the heartbeat handler, FSM, action manager, coordinator API handler, or the coordinator or API handler, stage planner, dependency tracker, and the manifest generator. This is just overview. As we go further or whenever we come with the next tutorial, we will have the detailed view about the Ambari server components. The next thing is Ambari agent. So as we know, the Ambari application itself has the two major components, Ambari, uh, Ambari server and Ambari agent. Just we had the one quick overview on the Ambari server. Now we have the quick overview on the Ambari agent. Ambari agent itself is a, a denim thread on the nodes or the, on the servers. What it does, it sends the heartbeats to the Ambari server. Suppose it is sending some uh, heartbeats to the Ambari server. Ambari server listens the heartbeats and sends some response to that. So this is the, it is mentioned here. It is agent daemon that is agent service which will send the message to the action queue to the action executor will be on the Ambari uh, server which will interact with the underlying platform by using Puppet or the Python script or the PowerShell and it will how or the, the Ambari server will interact uh, with other components such as the monitor which will fetch the data about the suppose they are monitoring the JVM data or the CPU usage data. So monitor will be one of the component and the Ambari server interact with, will interact with that component and the final response will be sent to the agent and agent will display the or populate the result for example CPU usage result. So this is a just introduction about the Ambari uh, application. So Ambari application is used to manage and monitor the Hadoop cluster. I hope this tutorial will just start you to think about the learning the Hadoop and more interesting topics will be coming very soon. So keep watching this space. Do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update about Hadoop. Thank you and have a nice time.